here we are with Ross Resnick of Roaming Hunger. So how are you doing? Really good. <laughs> good. Hi. I'm so excited to talk to you all about food trucks. Great. Because who doesn't love a good food truck? I do. I do too. I mean, I love all types of food trucks and you've really created a whole business around this. So tell me, what is Roaming Hunger? Roaming Hunger is a technology enabled platform that helps foodies find and book the best food trucks and food carts around the country. The best. The best. And how'd you get into this? In 2009, there were a few food trucks that had popped up in LA and in San Francisco. And I just thought the movement was so cool. I wanted a way to find out who these guys were and to go out and eat at these vendors myself. So I made a really simple web directory of about 200 vendors at the time. That, that's all I could find. Just casually, just like, I'm just going to type up all of the, the 200 Yeah, vendors. it was like in that's my pajamas amazing. late night. I'd, I'd look, do all this research, and then I had a friend who, who he, was, he could code. And so we put together a really basic site, and over time it grew into Roaming Hunger, what it is today. That's amazing. And now you, you have an app, and tell me about some of the things you do for food trucks and for the general consumer. Yeah, definitely. So Roaming Hunger started out as a way for people to find out about food trucks. And over time, we evolved into a way for you to actually find out where they are. So we have a map and an app that gives you real-time food truck locations so you can find out where your next meal is. Is there an available food truck at all times, like 24-7? Usually, usually. <laughs> yeah, in one city or another. Um, and then over time, we developed a catering program to help people book food trucks for events, for promotions, for weddings, for birthday parties. Really, any occasion you could think of food trucks have become I'm the go-to for gourmet catering. So tell me about some of your technology. Yeah, definitely. So our system is built on really off of social media. So we look at the social media feeds of the trucks and we use that data and extrapolate out locations and put them on a map so you can find out where these food trucks are parked. In addition, we have a vendor app where food trucks can go in, they can add their calendar, they can add their locations, and you can also find them that way. What do you think is the future of food trucks? Like, where are you going to take this thing? Catering. So we see food trucks really, if you look at what a food truck is, it's a kitchen that can go anywhere. And when you look at places that don't have access to food, there's not, you know, there's not a kitchen on site, food trucks are the perfect solution. So special events, uh, birthday parties, places where people don't want to have a catering team come in and invade their kitchen, food trucks are a perfect alternative to give people great quality food at a good price. Do you see yourself getting into anything else on wheels? Um, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Dog grooming? <laughs> well, I think we should check out some food at a food truck. What do you think? Yeah, well, I looked at the Roaming Hunger app and one of my favorite trucks, Cool House, happens to be right here. What do they make? The best ice cream sandwiches with amazing flavors. You're kidding. Not I'm at all. so excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm Jesse. Natasha. Nice to meet you. Yes. Good to see you, Ross. Hi, Natasha. A friend of a friend of many food trucks. <laughs> an avid supporter. <laughs> so how does so how does this work? Like how'd you get into you know running a food truck? You know, it's an interesting story. My background's actually in architecture and design. And I started this concept when I was studying called Farkitecture, food plus architecture, because I was playing around with different ways that you could use food as the vehicle, I like puns, to talk about design and just make it really fun and engaging and make people smile and laugh like that. So what do you have? <laughs> this is a sneak preview of our spring line, uh, black sesame, foie gras PB&J, legal in California again, um, and then coffee Kahlua and sweet tea uh, with moonshine. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Okay. I'm going for the foie gras. It's legal Dude, now. There you go. Yeah. Foie gras. <laughs> Since it's legal. Okay, it which one is this? That's the black sesame. Black sesame. Yeah. You know what I really want? Is the fruity pebbles. So I'm giving it to you in the edible wrapper to spare your You your can fingers. eat the wrapper? You can eat that paper. It's made of potato and it's vegetable-based ink. <laughs> and it's non-dairy. <laughs> you can just eat it? It just dissolves in your mouth. Like, could I just eat this whole thing? You could. You could. I invented them because I always, I can never find trash cans in LA. So you don't want to leave too much of a mess when you bring a truck on the sidewalk. This way you just pop the wrapper in your mouth when you're done. Excellent edible wrapper eating. <laughs> oh, that's sweet that? tea, what's coffee. That? So which one is this? Mm. That's sweet tea. It's spiked. You guys can cut. I'm probably just going to eat the rest of this. <laughs> Do it. Please. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's protein. Sorry, Ross, I wasn't really sharing. 
Oh you my god. That too? Uh, you too. Yeah, exactly. I love yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Awesome. It's it's an amazing food. Well, that's why I picked to you know this whole concept to launch with ice cream because it's such a universal food that everyone loves, and you become a kid again. I mean, oh, yeah. a little bit as exhibited. <laughs> you think I look like a kid? <laughs> Show me around the food truck. Yeah. So um, the, as far as the mechanics, it's a total kitchen on wheels. You know, you, you were able to wash your hands from your exciting ice cream eating adventures with our three compartment sink, got the hand washing. Um, it's a total off the grid, uh, you know, unit in terms of power and water. There's a fresh tank that's gravity driven to the sink and then a gray wastewater tank at the bottom that you can dump at the end of a shift. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the truck can run off a generator, so you can totally be independently supplied of you know plugging into a wall for at least several days. Actually, our New York trucks um, went and uh, service all the hard hit neighborhoods after Hurricane Sandy in New York because we're totally off the grid and we can go and feed people. So they're great like emergency vehicles. I never thought of them that way. So what's your favorite piece of technology in here? But you know, you could pretty much do anything from just a mobile device. You know, we have our, our POS on iPad or iPhone. You can sign in through uh, payroll uh, to log your hours on your phone, uh, tweet your location and your menu, um, you know, check you know, the event details on the Google Calendar. So really just, you could literally have your, your one phone, your one smartphone and run your business from a food truck. Okay, buckle up. 